I got a question from uh, HR Ways in Turn, which came through the comments on a video about connecting your webmail to Gmail. And they say, I did not select keep a copy of emails while integrating. Now all my webmail emails are on Google, but not on webmail. Can you help? So this is not the first time I'm getting such a question. Uh, sometimes it's just about how to move emails from Gmail to webmail. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hey there, my name is Vince Comfort and in this video, I'm going to show you how to export your emails from Gmail to webmail. The easiest way I could find is through using a Gmail backup tool made by Advic Software. And big thanks to the team of uh, Advic, especially for offering a free version. Uh, now, the catch with the free version is that uh, it allows you to only export up to 25 emails per folder at a time. If you have more emails, you can go ahead and support the Advic team through uh, purchasing the upgrade. Their plans start from uh, $39. Uh, that should be enough for, for, for one PC. And if you don't have the money but uh, have the time, you can export 25 emails at a time. Okay. So we're going to move emails from, uh, from this Gmail account to the, this webmail account, testatvincecomfort.com. So as you can see, this it's empty here. This is uh, the email account, the webmail account. And then we have the Gmail with uh, 18 inbox and then three drafts. So just go ahead and download, <laughs> download the free version. I already have it downloaded and installed. So first thing we're going to do is copy in the email address, the Gmail in account where we are exporting from so we take that paste and then we put in the app password uh your regular email account password will not work so we have to create an app password to use to do that we go to our gmail account uh go to settings ah sorry you go to your google account manage your Google account. Then we come to security. Mm, scroll down. Now we have our two step verification, which is off. We need to turn this on first. Then get started. So go ahead and uh, enter in your password. This is now your Gmail account, your ordinary password. Okay. And then you need to enter in your phone number. And then next. So a text will be sent to your phone number. Okay, just came through. So it's a 111362. Once that's done, click on next. It worked. Now we can go ahead and uh, turn it on. Okay, once it's turned on, Now uh, come up here and just type, uh, type uh, up password. It's right there. And then give the app a name. Let's use uh, Advic so that we can remember it in case we have to at some point. Just click on create. Now your app password for your device is this this is what you're going to copy and then we go to add uh, the Advic software 
then just paste it there and then uh, click on login all right so you want to come here to select the saving option and then we're going to choose imap uh, just scroll down the imap server and um, i like selecting the save messages in default folder so that they go in as they are as they show up in uh, in google in gmail and then use advanced mode so here we add in our webmail email address put it there put in the password okay this is the password of your webmail and then we put in the host i'm a host uh, for my case it's um uh, it's a uh, mail dot uh, .com. just leave the port number as it is and then click on backup so it says please select folders and again select on backup to start conversion so just come here we have to select the folders that we want to back up to export since we want everything we can just uh, select all from gmail it will select everything and if you don't want maybe to export spam you can remove those or you want to eliminate sent mails you can remove that but uh, let's just go on to click on backup but before you go you need to go back to your gmail account and uh, go to settings all settings and then uh, forwarding and pop slash imap then come down to imap access and make sure it's enabled so we enable imap and um, let's click on uh, auto expunge immediately update the server let's make that the default and do not limit the number of messages okay so once you've done that click on save we need to verify it's you to continue that's fine okay so you put in your number we have three four four seven nine seven verify okay now it's saved so we can go back to the advic uh, software and click on backup just wait for it to load okay basically that's that so let's go to our webmail and see if everything is there this is our inbox we have all the emails here and um, in draft we have the draft folder we have all the emails and then uh, send we have that let's check our send we have one so yeah basically that's what you can do that is the easiest way i could find uh, of how to import emails from gmail to webmail i hope you find this useful uh feel free to say hi in the comment sections below and if you have any questions drop them i'll try my best to reply to all the comments thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe